welcome back to a new video and not alive obviously <laughs> so i have decided that every monday perhaps not every monday but i think mondays should be dedicated to madam glam and we're going to call them madam glam monday and the last madam glam monday i done was actually a tuesday because <laughs> the video i had done was supposed to be going up on Monday and I didn't get up on Monday, it went up on Tuesday, so Madame Glam Monday was a Tuesday, but actually should be Monday. Anyway, it's Monday, so it's Madame Glam Monday. Get on with it, Nats. I have got some different Madame Glam colours here. Uh, this colour I'm using is Rosy Nude. This is probably one of my favourites. I do use it quite a lot as a base colour. What was that? Bleeping. Um, so I've got four tips. I always do four tips. I don't seem to do five anymore because you know thumb no one likes thumbs um, Two coats of rosy nude is gonna go on two hour tips tips and each layer cures in an LED lamp for 30 seconds um, Madam glam is something like 21 free uh, cruelty free they're vegan um, They're just yeah, they're really amazing So do bear that in mind um, if you want a gel polish brand that's, that cares. Do you know what I mean? Um, right, I've got Dusty Coral, Neon Sun, um, Baby Nest. Oh my God, you should see this pink. It's amazing. I kind of went for nice bright colours. And Green Highlighter. Or is it Highlighter Green? Green Highlighter. Um, I, yeah, I, I want to do some bright colours. Mm so why not and this design is kind of abstracty at an abstracty kind of design you're going to need a brush like this this is my ombre brush it's just a, a a cheapy born pretty ombre brush um but i actually i love it right i'm going to run the gel polish through the bristles to kind of load up the brush and then i'm just gonna run the brush across the the nail or the tip whatever you want to say you know whatever if you're doing it on a real nail um, and it kind of makes like a brushed look like that. I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that over the nail wherever I want. I thought I'd better do it coming from the bottom as well. And then a little bit on the side. And you just get this really cool like brushed look. That's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I have squeezed the colour out of my brush between a on a lint free wipe and then i'm going to load the brush up with the yellow this yellow is amazing and look if you want you can cross them over like that you don't have to they don't have to not meet if you know what i mean there we go you can do it in any direction you want i've done it mostly vertically yeah i think i look at this pink though oh this is probably my favorite one um i done it vertically and horizontally but you could do it on the nail diagonally as well i just wanted it like look oh my god that pink worked perfectly now the green i actually ended up doing two coats of the green because in a minute if you if you i don't know it looked quite yellowy i, I mean you can see it's green but next to the i just thought i'd go over with one more coat just to intensify that color because i wanted you to see that it was green and not yellow there we go so you can see that that's green i love this green as well by the way oh, they look amazing together okay then you're going to need some base coat we're going to put our glitter into this so the glitter i'm using is called moonbeam from nail sugar this is to replace the sterling um metallic silver glitter that there used to be this is now one of the core chunky glitters um you can get 10 percent off using code natmog10 off any nail sugar glitter as well just saying All right we're gonna go over with some base coat <coughs> and we're not gonna cure this I'm going to just use my, look, I'm just going to put that some base coat onto my brush and I'm just using my ombre brush. I'm just going to pick up some of the glitter and place that just randomly on the nail in a kind of, I don't know, just wherever you want. And I was trying to make sure I get like, because this glitter mix has got chunky, medium and fine bits of glitter through it. So I just see what, like that, I just want to do that and then I'm going to do it on the other nails 
not in the same place in different like in different places on the nails there we go just sort of like put it on randomly um you can get um 30% off Madam Glam gel polishes as well using my code NATMOG30. 30% is a massive saving. They also do a VIP program. So if you are part of the VIP program, what it is is basically they take $29 from your account, your bank account. It's sort of like a direct debit every month. And that $29 will be saved in your Madam Glam account as like store credit. And um, you can save it up over several months and then splurge or you can use it every month. Um, but all the time you are part of the VIP program, you get 50% off. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can still get 30% off using code NATMUG30. I mean, yeah, 30% is still amazing. Just saying. But I've gone in with the velvet matte top coat. I want these to be matte top coated. I kind of, I don't know, I've got to think about matte at the minute. I did miss, look, I, mi oh, I, I missed the the top of the yellow one. You can't see it at the minute. I'm, I think it was the yellow one. Or was it the peach one? I missed um, an air, oh, maybe it was the peach one. I missed a bit of the top coat. <laughs> right, um, to finish the nail off, right, if you, you can do this with gel polish, but do it before you top coat. I didn't want to do it with the gel polish i'm using the nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush so the this is a tack free gel paint and uh you can use because it's tack free you can use it on a top coated nail so i wanted to do it on top of the top coat because it will smooth off the glitter where the glitter is so i won't have any light lumps and bumps when i paint on this detail i've gone in with a kind of florally, I don't know what you want to call it, florally design, what do you call these like leafy leaves, I don't know what you want to call them, but it's like, um, I don't know, <laughs> a little, what would you call it, what are they called, what is this type of leaf called, eucalyptus, I don't know, someone told me once and I have no clue what it's called, but we're going to put can you hear that noise it's not me farting it's the builders they're actually a lot quieter now which is good so i'm kind of hoping that i oh, actually i shouldn't say that because touch wood the, the workmen will be noisy again won't they but they've been they've been quite good over the last few days probably because i've not noticed it because i haven't had to do a voiceover <laughs> but we're gonna go over each nail with one sprig of I don't even know what this is. One leaf. It's not even a... Do you know what I mean? And if you want to, you can do more than one. But I'm just going to do one. And then this um, this gel paint is the Tack Free Artisan Gel Paint from Nailchemy. This needs to be cured in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. So I will pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then what we're going to have is... We're going to have um, a matte finish nail. But the gel paint on the top is still going to have a little bit of a shine so that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds while that's in i'm just gonna i mean you don't need to see this but i've just kept this in anyway i'm gonna do another one of these sprigs <laughs> i don't know what they're called <laughs> um on to on, an, on another nail i'm at, uh, like i said before i'm gonna do a sprig on all of the nails this one i have got coming from the top and I've put the little stems. <laughs> I'm probably using the completely wrong words, but hey ho. Um, I've put the little stems on this one to give me a bit of a, a guide as to where I want the leaves. And um, you'll notice that when I, at the end, on the next nail, I think it's like the third nail. I uh, these are like really, really like they're spaced apart a lot, <laughs> and it looks a little bit odd. But I, you know what? It doesn't matter. There, every every sort of leaf is different. Sprig, whatever it is, frong. Is it a frong? So I'm sure someone's used that word before. They've said it's a frong, but that just sounds weird. It sounds like something you wear on your, you know, it sounds like a thong, doesn't it? But it's. I think it is a frong, actually. I think I'm right. Oh, I could be right, you know. 
there we go i'm going to pop that into the lamp <clears throat> for 60 seconds i'm going to do it on the others as well so look they've all got a they've all got some foliage on just say foliage and then i've got some crystals so i've picked out preciosa peridot preciosa light peach press preci preciosa was it pre precio i don't know um peridot peach light peach fuchsia peridot fuchsia i've john quill john quill oh -ho -ho! i always forgot then <laughs> my brain is just not oh god right so what i've done is the colors the colored crystals so like i've got light peach here so i'm going to place the crystals the light peach crystals on this kind of corally peach nail and i don't want lots on i just want like one or um two or three on each nail just in like where there's a sort of a bit of a gap I'm going to put a crystal on. So these are the John Quill ones. The ones before were like peach. I stupidly don't show you the, the Peridot ones or the Fuchsia ones. But you can see them on the nail. So this this yellow one, I've picked out John Quill. John Quill is one of my favourite colours. I, I actually use these quite a lot, these colours. one is going to go here and then i'm going to pop like a little one at the bottom i've got different sizes as well there we go look, a little one at the bottom so that is going to be my yellow nail and then the pink one i'm only going to put two crystals on this one because can you see how big my my frong is on this one i mean it's massive <laughs> i went a bit mad the stems needed to be a bit shorter but never mind that's that one and then i will put the peridot crystals on the green one the crystals that i'm using are from the crystal parade and i've got a discount code nat5 as well and um, all my discount codes and links for anything that i have discount codes for or whatever will be in the description box below for you anyway there we go and i'm going to pop these into cure for 60 seconds and then this is the finished result i actually kind of like them um i hope you do too i've no, i don't think i've really done any abstract nails before have i i don't know i might have done i just forget but anyway i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell so you do get notifications when i go live or when i've uploaded and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video oh my gosh we're back baby <laughs> see you tomorrow love you all bye